a few nights ago I had a dream and I was sleeping very sound and I had this dream and I kind of jolted awake and I felt like God was speaking to me in this dream. So I don't know <laughs> who this message is for. I know it's for sure for me, like I told you, but I, this is just something that I wanted to share. Anything that I feel like God is teaching me or that I'm learning, I just want to share. God is so good. He's so faithful. He's such an amazing God. And I just want to share anything uh, in hopes that it could help someone else. And, of course, to just brag about the Lord and how awesome He is. So I was sleeping. I was sleeping very soundly. And I had this dream that I was at church and there was this man preaching. I don't know about anyone else, but sometimes my dreams are not fully accurate to the place that they are set in if that makes sense so i knew i was supposed to be at church but it didn't <laughs> look exactly like like the church where i go to looks and sometimes i have dreams that are very realistic but this was just sort of one of those vague ones if that makes sense and this man was preaching and then it kind of shifted settings he was still preaching but i was standing outside and i was aware of my sister at my side and the man was preaching and he said, are you being spiritually fed? And then he said, maybe God is trying to bless you, but you're just getting in the way. And I jolted awake. It was the early morning and I was just laying there like, whoa. I just immediately knew that that was like the Holy Spirit, like God speaking to me. And I've felt that before in different ways. Sometimes I feel... Or should I say, rarely I, have I ever felt like God has just like very, very directly spoke to me in a very direct way. And this was one of these times. I have definitely felt God speak to me other times, but it, it was just different. This time was very direct. And so I laid there for a minute and I, I thought about it and I prayed about it while I was still somewhat groggy. And the main message that I felt like God was trying to tell me was are you blocking my blessings i'm trying to bless you and you're blocking them because you won't get out of the way and i thought about it and it kind of blew my mind so maybe you're in a waiting season or you're going through a hardship and it's just something that's super tough and then sometime eventually whether it's days months years weeks later it's like everything kind of gives right whatever you're praying for happens or the waiting season is over and here it is here's the blessing but then do you find yourself asking well what if this happens or this is not exactly what i thought it would look like or i really don't deserve this i think god was trying to tell me those patterns of thought are blocking the blessing that's not receiving the gift that he's trying to give and a lot of that is just getting so lost in the details about a decision in life, a waiting season, a hardship. I actually <laughs> did a video last week where I talked about getting lost in the details. And so I'll leave that link uh, in the description below. But this is almost the reverse side of what happens if you do get lost in the details. So I realized oftentimes I'm just in the way. God's trying to work in my life. He wants to work in my life. I want him to work in my life, but I'm standing right in the way sometimes. And it made me think then, why do we do this? He brought this to my attention. So I'm asking myself, why am I doing this? And I come up with several reasons. My biggest reason was fear of disappointment. Uh, weak faith, pride, need for control. I think all of those are basically the same thing. And it comes from a lack of faith, a lack of trust in God. And if you're in a hardship, a waiting season, something that is out of your control, if you're like me, you want to just try to control it. You want to fix it. But again, that is kind of standing in the way of God. And, and unfortunately, we're in a world, we live in a world where we are almost taught subconsciously from childhood, from infanthood to be self-sufficient. And it's crazy. Being self-sufficient is great. I'm all about being self-sufficient. But it's such a balance and it's something that God's really teaching me. You don't want to be so self-sufficient that you're like, No, God, I got this. Really, I can handle this. We don't want to be that way. But there's so many things in life that just encourage us to be self-sufficient. It's almost like that's hardwired in. Or maybe it's mostly just hardwired in from the world because we're not meant to live apart from our creator and i feel like when we do that that's when we come up against a hard place and 
it's so easy to do that with our thought patterns and that's why I wanted to make this video because I felt like God was kind of revealing this to me then you know ask yourself is there something that God is wanting to do in your life is there a blessing but maybe you're accidentally without realizing it like I was blocking it because you're worrying about well what if this happens or what if that happens or I don't want to lose this or I don't want to lose this person and whatever it is your hardship your waiting season whatever it is you can just plug in and a huge thing that I've come to realize as an adult but even with feeling like God was revealing this to me is so many times the way he's going to bless us is it's exceedingly abundantly more than we could think to ask or think of and it's going to be in a way that is maybe something that we couldn't even imagine we just see something out here and think well this would fix my problems or this is what I want maybe that's what we'll get maybe that is in God's plan and his will for us but maybe there's something over here that's way better but between these two things here if our thought patterns are well I don't I don't really deserve this or what if this happens or what if this is not what I want <laughs> do you see how we could just be blocking things it would be like if a friend handed me a gift they were like handing me a gift maybe it was Christmas my birthday maybe they just wanted to buy me something and here they are here's your gift and I can open it and instead of doing that I just you know over here they're trying to hand it to me then I jump over here it would be very off-putting it would probably be hurtful and dishonoring to that friendship why I wouldn't just receive their gift but this is precisely <laughs> what we do when things are finally starting to go right and then we're like biting our nails thinking what's going to happen or I really just don't deserve this. The thing is, we don't deserve anything and we have to get past that because if we get hung up on I don't deserve this or the what ifs, I just feel like that's dishonoring God and the gift that he is trying to give us. We didn't deserve Jesus to die on the cross for us. It's not anything that we could ever do to deserve that. It's all about grace. But when we get stuck in these thought patterns, we're kind of taking away the gift from God. And there's several verses that come to mind. Matthew 7, 11, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Or James 1.17, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning. Or Luke 12.32, Fear not, little flock, for it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. God wants to bless us, and that's okay, because He loves us, and He sent His Son, and we're His children. And when we have these emotions or wrong thinking about oh i'm so hung up in the details or what if this happens what if that happens all of these things they kind of turn us away from god and who do they turn us to to ourselves <laughs> and that's a huge problem because we don't want it to become all about us we don't want to get our strength we don't want to get everything that we need from us we want that to come from god and it's worth thinking about how many blessings or opportunities do we miss because we're so bent on having things our way or we can we're short-sighted we can only see this so how many blessings do we actually miss and when we're looking for just an exact fix to our problem to our waiting season to whatever's going on when we're just looking for something so exact for that that is the same thing as just putting on blinders and we can just only see right in front of us because we know that God works in mysterious ways and he can do anything and so maybe it's not like I said it's not going to be that exact fix or the exact way that you think it will be but if you are unwilling to accept something else, if you are unwilling to put your trust in him, then you put on blinders and you block any kind of blessing that he could be trying to work in your life. So I just wanted to share this just as food for thought. It's made such an impact in my thinking in just the last couple of days since I had that dream. It's just really got me to thinking about everything that's going on in my life right now and just how I look at things and my prayer for myself and my prayer for anyone watching this is that we can let go of our preconceived notions and let go of how we think things should go how we maybe even want things to go in some situations and instead just 
bring it to the foot of the cross and trust God knowing that he loves us and he wants to work out everything good for us and he will and he can but we have to let him and if we try to grab a hold of the reins and we freak out over the details and we worry about the what ifs I think we're just we're blocking him I think we're causing ourselves unnecessary pain when we don't have to now all of this is easier said than done <laughs> people have been <laughs> studying the bible and and uh working on themselves spiritually and trying to grow in faith for centuries so this is not a, perhaps a new concept that i've all of a sudden come up with but i think it's food for thought it's definitely given me a lot to think about and i hope that it will for you too so drop me a comment let me know what you think. We love interacting with people in the comments here on the channel. And thank you for watching. God bless you and God keep you. And I'll see you all in the next one.